Hi everyone, welcome to the latest video. I've got a guest commentator in today, or maybe I'm his guest, I don't know. Uh, Semi-pro, are you there? Yeah, I'm shooting the sport pro, I am. <laughs> no, I'll start off straight away with a conspiracy theory, so I love that one. Right, it's semi to break, we're going to do a race to seven, winner breaks. Uh, it was racked the money ball, so God knows what that'll mean for the new super break. I guess that's the first question, Semi. Do you feel the breaks like a lot better or just the same? I think they're worse. Okay, explain. Um, because I can't seem to pop all the break, whereas before, um, I could. <laughs> Strangely enough, I, it seems to be practice, you can pop the break, but match play, just completely different. And uh, I break like this, I try and make the white come back. Um, down the middle of the table to the bork end. Okay. That's uh, some, for me, some sort of element of control. And see, straight uh, away he gets a perfect break, everyone. Do you see that? And now, <laughs> and now I'll break, break like God. <laughs> yeah, he's going to run seven of me now, and I'll be like, yeah, something went wrong with the recording. Come and put it up. So, yeah, this is our first effort. So, I've tried to, there'll be a little bit of audio tweaking to learn. Like desktop audio on OBS for me, but yeah, if it sounds decent, it'll it will improve. I'll do some tweaking after. Yeah, I mean, I, I just find that the the break itself is, I mean, you and I both know it's all random. Yeah. Um. So it's just hit and miss. I think the problem is if it became too predictable, like it would be solved immediately by yourself, myself, probably Cobra, a few others. And then yes. instantly the game's just lost. So I think there has to be a balance. I'm not sure it's quite there, but it wouldn't it wouldn't want to be a lot better, if if you know what I mean, in terms of predictable before it became like really, really boring. Yeah. yeah. But then again, I know people are in this tournament saying that, you know, the alternate break sort of kills people from making runs, so they don't like that either. So it's kind of but would people prefer, you know, ten rack runs every game? Yeah, I think um, it certainly ruins rhythm um, for players. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that would be good for the sort of average player, but it's still, it's. by the end of the day, it's going to be hard to be a good player anyway, either, either way. Or oh, it could be a 7-0, seven, seven, seven Mal. Yeah, 7-0 from the person who can't break. <laughs> <laughs> who can't get a ball, is like knocking them in, it's like... Playing like there's almost no cushions. See that? Look at it. Yeah. Oh, oh my sure. god. That's oh. is, like you've got a 50 minute video here. I'm going to have to. Uh, I don't know if I can get a reverse bank on that. I wouldn't I'm have thought so. But yeah. I'm going to have to put you in the sleep on that. <clears throat> That's alright. I, 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 don't, I don't like winning, so. Well, you could have put me in the snooker, but. Right. Well, I have, I have to keep on it because you're pretty dangerous. Allegedly, but even if your um, your B game is uh, oh, that was terrible. I was I knew what I was trying to do there. I didn't really it was no easy shot there. It was weird. Yeah, my B no. game not too bad. It depends what that you know balls go funny. It's my first game, so I'm throwing my excuse out straight away. <laughs> you played one rack, so you're like, oh my god. Oh. Oh, I'm warmed up already. Okay. Yeah, I'm not liking that at all. That's that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, it's all about. I want you to. I want you to change your mouse back to where it was against uh, Bedhead. If you're alright. <laughs> <laughs> that's better. Oh, look where that's going, um, people. Honestly. Well, it's oh part of the man. Job. <laughs> oh, is, is, the is, there's no snooker escape. There's actually nothing. All right. Okay, we'll try this. You ready? A bit of fun. <laughs> ready, people. Ready, cool ready, ready. ready? This, this, uh, this will go wrong, but we'll try. Ah, well, that, that is a great effort. <laughs> uh, but I, I couldn't actually do it because you'd even knuckled me out of that shot as well. So I put a bit of side on trying to spin it. So it was a pretty elaborate. <laughs> I don't actually don't really know what. To Play here. I might attempt the three. I don't think I've got a choice but to play the 
Well, what, I, I mean, what you could do is just la- line up straight and just play screw back to land between the red and then go one cushion to take the red at the same pocket. That's what I would do. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'd get it wrong, but yeah. I'd try. Because as long as you're not screwing straight back into the middle pocket, you're probably going to be on it. Right, yeah, okay. I would say I'll that. Try your way. Yeah, well, you, no, you no, just. No. Yeah. <laughs> You watch and learn. You watch and it's learn. not me playing it. That's a problem. That's too hard. Well, I, I, oh, that wasn't yeah. quite what I had in mind, but I, I would have put a bit. Yeah. <laughs> first trolling. Oh, Mal wins the first mind game. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> that was always going to happen. What do you play that for? I was that, definitely right. I am not listening to you. I had that the other day when you were like asking me to play trick shots at the end of like a really like a game, like a world championship game, and I had Hugh on the other channel going, Mal's playing weird and Cobra saying, I've never seen a place as bad. I was like, No no, I'm just listening to semi. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to be a really bad influence on you on that. Um Yeah, I was doing some weird shots and then yeah. thinking like I shouldn't have played that. I was just kinda of like, Yeah, it's all good. And then when he, when um it was I playing the other day, was it uh was it Snake Eyes? And he started coming back, and I'm thinking, I'm not listening to you anymore. Um, I actually don't know. Because that was miles ahead, and you were like, try this out, try this out. And I was giving racks away, thinking like, oh, right, time for the now break. I don't want to overstate the break, but look, it's slightly tilted to the right. So I'm going to go to the right as well. This is my new theory. So this is a high chance of trying to pot the nine, right? It's a, well... It, in theory, but it's actually more of a chance to get the nine moving, but it's not quite tilted quite enough for that. But uh, we'll give it a go. My prediction is that the nine will move. It didn't really move. So, yeah. how, do you even have a look at the uh, the rack to see what balls are touching what? Because yeah. that must that yeah. must play a part. Uh, I don't, to be honest. Um, so here, I don't really know what to do. Just take a look. Oh no. Oh look, he's playing safe. Oh god, I wouldn't say that's safe. To be fair, oh, the old... jump cues, jump cues are on. <clears throat> in the, I would be reasonably happy with this in the in the in the tournament. I like having jump cues off in the tournament. But what I am going to do for everybody's benefit who's listening, in, um, I am going to do um, good shot. I am going to do a survey before the next tournament about when they want it and what type breaks, etc. Um, and then obviously can't can't please everybody, but if every you know if the large percentage say winner breaks, and I'm also going to put a thing out just for everyone's benefit as to whether stub should be allowed in, um, only because no. I feel no. like it's harsh to ban him forever. But I'll yes, take yes, ban forever. But I'll take everybody's view on that. I'm not going to yeah. just arbitrate. I mean, Steve might not entertain it. I've got to ask him first to be honest, because he it was him. Might be. It was him who Actually, said no, to be fair. And if he said yes, be, then it would happen, so. I mean, to be fair, Stubb is actually okay. Um, I think you have to just persevere with him because he's actually not bad. I think he just has to realise that there's a line where it becomes a problem, where it's not funny, like, where it spoils things. Like, it's okay him, like, doing the sort of you'll see, K, all that stuff, like, oh, whatever. But when you start doing stuff that, like, ruins the game, that's that's obviously a lot worse. Yeah, just say, I mean, you can be like sort of do as like tongue in cheek, sort of you know, mild abuse type of thing. Is no one's bothered about that, but when you start refusing to play and ruining tournaments, that's clearly way really worse. Mm-hmm. Like I say, it's, up, it's, it's all up to Steve because at the end of the day, he if he says he plays, he plays, and if I haven't got you know, I can't tell him what to do. See, I'm a, I'm in a quick look at the rank right, and the front ball is not touching both. Balls. Now it's worth black. just looking to see if that's true for me because on my my visual it is absolutely square on. Oh really? Well, as touching as they get because they don't actually touch it ever. Well, you've just brought that. Um, but yeah, so that I'm not sure the visuals. Oh man, I'm not <laughs> sure. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sure the visuals uh, really say that much. I've got a theory that it's just a. Because we all presume they actually represent how the rack's actually coded in. Yeah. I don't think we've ever been told that's the case, you know. Well, sorry, mate. I'm going to aim to try and get the white straight for the 2-9 combo. 
Well, um, you know. Anything. Um, oh, God. Well, that, well, that was close. Still, <laughs> nah, you're all right. You're looking where the nine is. It's really hard to. It's a massive miss to miss it. I'll do. Well, this ain't looking good for you. Well, it never does. Everyone cheats. <laughs> <laughs> Right, okay. See, this is what I mean. I break like this, and then match play. I just can't pop ball. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. It, it can be very, very oh, and, and, uh, oh, man. And, having your look, uh, I think. I'm... <laughs> uh, oh, Jesus. I think I should do the lottery tonight. Yeah. Because this is like one of the things that could happen against a. Uh, a really good player on well I can do that but it's still jumpable um, against a really good player on here it's actually sometimes if you don't get a, a shot you can just be blocked out yeah and it, it's, it can be really irritating because I haven't really done anything wrong in this game yet you've just pretty much ran a few racks haven't you yeah I've been lucky where the ball's gone though to be fair yeah I don't think I can't think of an error I've made maybe a dry break I don't know I'm three one down but you're uh I don't find these hard to jump the distance with the three. That might have just touched it, you know. <laughs> no. <laughs> now it's my turn to be. Uh, what you thinking? There's only chance I'll have. I was thinking if you get on this, I'm, I'm buggered. Well, I'm actually going to try and see if I, I. I'm wondering if I've got enough that I can actually clip the three in the middle. I think you the can. Might be slightly uh, no, you can definitely. No, that definitely goes. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Good effort. Yeah. It's so I bad. think a lot of um, players. Um, just I'm generally speaking here that when they're trying to get out of a snook, uh, snooker, they're not. They're just aiming to hit it rather than having a. Um, to think what they're doing after, or what side they want to hit the ball that they're snookered on. Yeah. Yeah, you got to think. I mean, I won't claim to be good enough where that is good most of the time, but you can definitely, you can definitely have a plan. Like you're not just trying to hit it, or just hit it hard. That's quite a good plan sometimes. Just to give it a clip and just say, look, I'm just gonna empty the clip at it and see what happens. Yeah. So go on then, what do you enjoy about offline and what do you enjoy about online? Offline I enjoy the fact that I can just log in any time and just play and the computer's decent and I can speed the game up because everyone knows I like the press Z. Um, <laughs> online, online I don't like the way that people just like, I feel like want to see me lose, but um, I don't mind. Like it's, it's, I think the problem with online is, and I'm not saying this to be arrogant, but it's actually quite hard to find a good game. Because a lot of people won't play me. A lot of people like to watch us, but a lot of people won't play me. And there's only a couple of years that can give us a game. Oh, look at that disgusting, disgusting break. Oh, my God. Steve, what are you doing to me, man? Fix the break. So this should be, um, should be a straightforward clearance here. Yeah, and this is where it gets really good. Against a really good player, this is frustrating because you know you're probably going to be out. And all I needed yeah. was one rack. Like everything's easy, including you don't even need to play the combo. It's all about the three and four. I need to be on the right side of the. Don't even think it three. is. You just need to be straight on the three and just stop it. You don't, you don't even need to play the combo, really. You might have to now. Right? I've actually mullered that. I didn't mean to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Right. Well, that's true. Shooters Pro Pro could have played that one. <laughs> yeah, oh, thanks. Dear. This is not. This is oh, slowly, still... slowly unraveling. Are you just teasing me? <laughs> yeah, all about this shot. Oh man! Talk about making an easy clearance hard just from that one shot. What was interesting? This good shot. What was interesting about that one is you gradually got worse over two shots, and like now you've kind of held on, but it's not a great deal better. But you're just sort of clinging on, and it's like. A good player will still clear up, and that this can hurt an opponent when you sort of. I'm expecting now, as, a, as if I was sitting in a real game, thinking, well, I've got a good chance of getting back to the table, you're decent. 
And then you keep you keep potting them. Uh, that, ooh. Oh. I thought that was it. But like, say for example, you, you kept potting it, and then you think, no, oh, and you lose that chance you've had that hope. And as we found out in the Euros, it's a hope that gets you every time. Yeah. It's not the losing. And I, that miss was basically down to the uh, two to three. Yeah, and then just gradually struggling from then on. Because I think yeah. there was something I read years ago that said, like, oh, I hit that too hard, much harder than I wanted to. I'm all right, but shouldn't have been anywhere near it. It looks perfect, that, but it's no way do you ever want to be played to get there in a million years. Or there, really. Too far too close to Jaws. I've kind of butchered that one a little bit. You don't need to be that precise. Yeah, the, the problem with um, VP4 that I find is that you can play position for leaving the white in the cushion. Yeah. Whereas in uh, real life, you yeah, oh, better position. That is a lucky break, because it absolutely splattered. Like, I'm going to be clever here because I don't like um, I don't like playing shots from the two to the four is yeah, hard. Like two to the four is hard, so I'm making the four easier by doing that. Yeah, good, good thinking. Because I didn't, I don't want to be dealing with the. Because obviously, if I had to get on the four there, it was frozen. I would have had to go around the block, so I've just made my life a lot easier. Now here, yeah, if, the, if, if the green was closer to the cushion, I would hit into it now. In fact, I might be able to. Yeah, and, and it's forcing you to do more with a white ball, which is what players really should be looking for. Yeah, I would be happy to hit that across because then I'd only have to roll the five in. Now I've got to play like position, which yeah. is fine. In fact, it should, it should be well within my capabilities, but I don't like moving the white round. See, that's, see where that's gone now. I can't screw back. So mm -hmm. I've kind of... I've kind of ruined that slightly, so I've now mm, that's actually read, mm, that's actually read nasty. So after yeah, but here you can just play the white down the straight uh, towards the middle, and then pop the seven in the corner using the white off the nine to hold position. Four. But the eight, <laughs> eight. Even, I think I'd rather just screw it back. <laughs> really? Ah, oh, fair. Never listen to Sammy, everybody. See, for me, I would have used the white to hit the nine to hold position for the eight in the in the other corner. But who needs that A eh, when you can pot everything anywhere? Yeah, but I think if you think about the shot I played on the green six, though. Mhm. Mm obviously, before the green six on the five, I try I, I tried on the three, you know, the four that had opened up to move the five, and I didn't. So I had to play that, sorry to move the six, but then I had to play a position off the five to get back. Messed that up, and then I was struggling from then on, and I just parted my way out of trouble. Right, I'm gonna try the splatter break, because I'm, I'm really, see that's again just a bit of a clod, bit of a clod hopper break. Oh, look at this. Oh, Jesus Jones. <laughs> yeah. And the first time I go in behind, now, now it's my turn to bum squeak. Actually, rather difficult to know what to do here. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh, okay then. Oh, I didn't mean, um, to, I didn't mean to hit that well. Again. Yeah, it wasn't <laughs> quite where I was. This is how you. This is how you do a min. This is how you win a push out battle. Everyone. Nine ball. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been worse. Actually, I made it like a little bit more difficult for you. Look where the where the five's gone. Five's fine. Just land behind it like you did before. The work. <laughs> Be awful about this. Is what I, actually, I, I actually need uh, shots like this. See, for me, if I was playing a match, I'd be playing the uh, five seven. Um, um, depends, depends on what I was queuing. I would quite like the idea of like. Digging in with some bottom right here, but cushion looms large. You might be snookered here. It's amazing how it's like a magnet there, isn't it? Yeah, reverse. It's amazing it, how often you can land there, like incredibly regularly on that shot. Especially with the amount of space you got to play with as well. Exactly, but you always try it. It's psychological. You could have gone near the green, you'd have been all right, but you'd never aim for that. 
mm. you probably should do is take that stop and thinking moment where you can kind of land okay. Mm. And, uh, these are, what do I do? Probably, again, I'm not too worried here. If I land in the middle, that hurts. Like that. I think I can cut this in, you know, and still bounce. Oh, no, I can't. Well, I'm calling the enough in, into the oh dear, I don't like this at all. Uh, Is these type shots from, uh, I'd probably inclined to play the six onto the eight and try and kill it. I could just leave it like that. Yeah. All good, you know, play safe. <laughs> Pretend it's a safety, that was shocking. I'm not happy I overcut it. I very rarely overcut things. I'm normally hitting things too thick, so I'm not happy with that at all. Now, based on my pace, I think I'm inclined to overhit this. Just uh, guarantee myself on, on the eight. I didn't want to play that again. Uh, like I snooped myself on the five. Is there any shots that you find hard? Yeah, frozen shots on the cushion. Yeah. What is that? Ah, yeah, I can't agree with that one. Can't, can't do. Can't visualise them. That well, comes... I, I've actually been strangely enough um, oh, practicing the rail shots. Yeah, and I, I need to do that definitely. I should be spending a lot of time on it because. As people know, I'm pretty much part of everything else, and I've got a good sort of positional sense in terms of planning ahead. But cushion shots, no, terrible. So, like, just imagine if you, before you take the shot here, if you imagine that the eight was tight on the rail, hmm. in order to pot that up in the top corner, you'd want top right hand or bottom right hand side, because that throws the the um, transfers the spin. So the ball's spinning towards the pocket. Right. That helps. To be honest, what I that tend to do massive. is massively miss the angle anyway. Just completely miss uh, miss sighted. Oh, I don't like this at all. This is... Uh... It, it, it's, I know what you mean. It's hard to read um, on, on here where to pinpoint uh, the actual hit. On yeah. the ball when it's frozen. Oh, I was hoping that that would miss. Uh, Don't want to be straight. Yeah, that's a good shot. That's a lot harder than uh, people realise. I think. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. It, Oops. He's gone. He's gone. He's fought. Oh. He's rattled. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, dear. I think I thought, I, I think I out thought myself there. I was going to talk about cushion shots and I. That's uh, weird, weird one. That one. Don't usually miss them when they're off. Very few. Never mind. Uh, see, I, I'm, I've now. I can't put off the break now. You don't see, need to. I'm just done. wait till I've missed the nine. It'll be all, it's all good. Just you know, <laughs> let me pop them all. I'll dolly you up. Oh shit! The bed. I've gone completely. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, um, I've got him rattled. He's rattled. He's rattled. So, Mal, off the nine ball, um, you got your first official 147 offline. Yeah, uh, yeah, last night it was a, I was playing a, an offline career mode game uh, against one player, it was a particularly good one. And uh, yeah, just he broke off, left a long red, and uh, next thing I knew, I was like, oh, this is a outside chance, you know, a few reds and blacks, and then just kind of opened itself up for me. I was like, there it was and I, it, I got it 
I think I played because you always get like one really tough, tough shot that has to come off. And there's a few times where, um, oh man, that's not good. Uh, you go away with it. Yeah, that's bad though. Um, there's a couple of chances like where I had to sort of run into reds and stuff that it was like a little bit out of the good black, and the the balls rolled nice for me and stuff. So. Yeah, I was I was well happy to get it because it was the one thing I hadn't done. Like I had, in the game, I'd not quite managed to just get that. Now that's unlucky, mate. Where that's gone, that's really unlucky. The purple's a little bit of an issue here. Did you uh, feel uh, nerves at any point? So I know I did when I got my first one four seven. Um, no, but I did give a big yes when I got it. <laughs> Oh, it kind of reminds me of my, mine as well. I, I'd kind of done a, a, a fist in the air. Um, very, very happy at that point. Oh, yeah, I was I was well happy with it. Well, I've tried not to no, leave I'll... anything too easy here. I knew I was leaving you something. Hopefully um, many more for you then, right? Yeah, it's just nice to get it. You know, it's been I've played this, this game now for like eight, nearly nine years, and I've never had one. And I missed a black on my first 147 chance. It was like in the proper frame as well and I missed the black and I was really angry with myself for that like it was a hard black don't get us wrong I've kind of survived up to the um, this could go in off this uh, that's a great shot yeah I'd kind of survived up until um, the, the pink which was off the spot uh, and I just Left. I think to be honest, if you imagine where the snooker table is, where the seven is, but a little bit close to the middle, probably just like a third of the way past the spot towards the middle, and the black was on its spot, and it was probably just a little bit further out, and I then I jawed it, and I was gutted, truly gutted. I've got enough. Yeah, go on, go on, jaw. Go in. Oh. Yeah, good old semi, nice and sporty. <laughs> <laughs> I need all the help versus you. You're winning. Um, well, not anymore. I told you I'd give you a chance. I, <laughs> that's a lie, one. I didn't. We're, 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 we're quite happy to just see what it, see how it goes. We, we, we play all the time. It's like there's no sort of favourite or anything. It's just whoever doesn't cock it up, I think. is the... <laughs> Any ball, any ball, any ball. Any, oh, not the white. I, I wanted, um, obviously I'm going for this. This is the point in the match where, like, I just have to. Oh, you bitch. Oh, that sucks. God. Uh, you know what? I actually feel for you on that shot. Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, I can't really complain. That if I hadn't missed silly shots, or not been... Maybe I should have probably played safe there, but it's a friendly, you know what I mean? Just like, God. Oh, it's it. not never a friendly. <laughs> never a friendly. I mean, for, for, from my side, I think it's um, a pleasure to play somebody like yourself uh, because I just know no matter what what game we play, you're just always going to give um, a, a good game. Yeah, I mean, I like playing sort of, it's like, there's no sort of, I don't think it's a favourite between any of the really good players because we just knock everything in normally. And it's like any pool game, it's who's, who's just that a little bit more ahead on the day. And it's just, I guess I can end, I just enjoy playing. I just wish there was more variety of people to play against in terms of, like, if there was, like, say, 20 or 30 really, really good players, it would be really fun. Yeah. And there would be if there was more, like, you know, if there was some sort of reward, I think you'd find us, you know, you'd get the Asian lads coming over, the gamers who were just tremendous, play like 17 hours a day. And there goes oh, the man. yes, what a win. Yeah, great play. Good game, good game, semi wins. Obviously, good I had to come back if it had been open game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah good game mate well played hope everyone enjoyed the vid and uh, we'll see you on the next one